Hey everyone. So, um, hi. Uh, we're here at OE Global here in Edmonton. <laughs> oh, and look, there we go. That's better. So you can see the most. That's okay. I'm, you guys are more important to be uh, to be honest than me. So, um, yeah, we're super excited. We're on day two out of three of the Open Education Global Conference, and um. Yeah, we've been having a great time. I think we're going to talk to a couple of our wonderful Gojiennas that are here. I think some other folks are going to drop by as well. Um, so I think to get things started, maybe just some introductions. And if, if everyone's happy just to say hello and who they are. And Terry, welcome. Would you like to join us and say hello? So we're just recording. Um, people might pop online in a bit. And um, we're just going to do some introductions and then talk a little bit about our experiences of the conference and maybe a little bit about what we've been doing for the Gojian workshop. So, uh, yeah, let's um, do some introductions. Laurie Beth, do you mind just uh, yep, kicking sure. things off? I am Laurie Beth Larson. I am uh, I'm from not too far away, Minnesota. I'm in a very small community college and I am um, happy to be here. Thanks, Kerry DeHart. I'm from a little bit further, South Africa, uh, from a mega university with over 350,000 students and yes total privilege to be uh... <laughs> <laughs> hello my name is Karina Bosu I'm a senior lecturer at the Open University I'm, uh, I'm part of the, the Gojian team um, and it's, it's wonderful to be here surrounded by amazing people hi I'm Adrian Stagg and I'm from the University of Southern Queensland in Australia and yes, it, it's been really good to hear from all over the place here in Edmonton. Thanks so much. And I'm Beck Pitt, part of the GoGN team. Um, yeah, it's so wonderful to be here. So I wondered, um, yeah, whether anyone wanted to share any reflections about the conference so far, any particular highlights or things that really resonated um, with you? Yeah. I can start. Uh, I think often in our separate disciplines, I don't know, you are probably in a little bit of a different position um, working with open, but um, I think if I say us and generalizing those that are in discipline teaching, it often feels like a very lonely place to be in terms of OER, and it, uh, it feels like you're the only one that sta understands anything about it, and you um, try, you know, for me in tax, when I speak about some of the terminologies, they think I'm swearing at them or using <laughs> a different language. <laughs> um, so to be at the conference and to hear, uh, first of all, a like-minded people um, with the same challenges, it's given me a lot of energy and a lot of motivation to go back and continue. Um, their challenges are the same. They no difference, mm -hmm. you know, often coming from the global south and South Africa where some things don't work. It feels like, you know, maybe we've got these excuses <laughs> because things don't work. But the challenges seem to be the same everywhere. And uh, Karina and I were also just speaking this morning and saying, what's changed in the last 10 years? And perhaps instead of looking at what the barriers and the challenges are, we should look at why they haven't been solved and how yeah. can we solve them as a group because the challenges are um, are definitely the same between us and I think the solutions are probably likely to be as well. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I think also I'm at a very, very small college in rural uh, Minnesota. So I, I am in, we, we've done quite a few things with OER, but um, I would have to say the same thing, the connections and other people who are speaking um, the same kinds of words and they know stuff and, and uh, it's been this, yeah, the same, yeah, finding connections, people doing the same thing, yeah. In terms of conference, I've attended several in global, not all, but. I'm not that old. <laughs> um, I noticed that there is something really different in this one, and I hope that this will continue. I noticed that two of our three keynote speakers didn't actually talk about, you know, frameworks and methodologies and new systems and what you should buy or, you know, what you should have. 
Um, instead, it was humanizing us as practitioners, mm -hmm. our life and how important it is, this community we work together uh, uh, and how that is important for us to grow as professionals, as people. So I really found this conference in particular very, very inspiring. And that's the most connected mm -hmm. I felt with, co and I've met these people have met them at conferences before mm. but this is i think that's the most connected i felt with with people so that's that's my take from this conference so far and on that note um it has been really quite eye-opening to engage with all the sessions on um indigenous and traditional yeah. knowledges um, yeah. i've been trying because it's an area i know very little about um and so i've been trying to get to those sessions and just listening to the way that people work with others um some of the challenges mm -hmm. um especially noticing that well, open is very much a response to the Western notion of copyright, intellectual property mm -hmm. ownership, those sorts of things, which have very little in common with the types of sessions that we're, we're talking about today. So that that was really huge. And getting uh, links to toolkits and to further readings, um, there's certainly going to be plenty of stuff for me to look at on the way home. But I think the other thing to take away from this kind of a conference is because there's a lot of focus on uh, getting the audience to engage and and really um, talking about process. That's been something I've noticed here is that in a lot of educational conferences, you just get a focus on the outcomes. It's like we brought a whole bunch of people together, a miracle occurred, and then look at all of our really neat outcomes. Um, here, it's and here's in depth for the process. So there's been a whole heap of sessions where I've written down different ways of engaging people for things like strategic planning. Mm. Um, and they are things that I'm going to take back home and put into place. So I've, I've really appreciated that focus on process. Um, and, and the outcomes are good, but I'd like to know how do I replicate this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. That's fantastic. And yeah, we've kind of been here um, where, for a few days in Edmonton and things like that. And um, yeah, we had our Gojian workshop, uh, when was it, back on Friday? It seems ages ago now <laughs> with everything that's been happening. Yeah, so Friday and Saturday. And yeah, you were all at the, the workshop as well. And um, I just wanted to whether there was any insights or things that you wanted to share with people that weren't able to be in the room um, at the workshop. We had a lot of interest in the workshop and obviously the network is, you know, we've got a large network and a, a number of people that couldn't be here in Edmonton and, and at the workshop and at the conference. So I just wondered, yeah, if there was anything you'd like to share um, um, about that. I think one thing that I thought was, was um, and I haven't been to other Gojian workshops, but um, I think it almost as a preparation for OE Global and the focus on indigenization and and revitalization and equity and social justice. It almost felt like Gojian was in prep for that because so many people are studying, studying and, and working in um, research in that same, the same areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is fun. Yes. Yes, I think it was um, nice to be part of it and not here to the conference being someone that doesn't know anybody else. I see there's a lot of people walking around at the conference with um, colleagues and when you come from far, that's sometimes a little bit intimidating. And in terms of being at the workshops, uh, that was nice. But if I talk about the workshops rather than the impact it had on the conference was just to hear all the different research that's going on. You know, sometimes we lose our creativity in our mm -hmm. daily grind mm -hmm. of, um, teaching I teach thousands I have 3,000 students on a module so um, yes it was nice just to hear the ideas and um, I came specifically looking for collaboration so I've been on the outskirts of GoGN for a long time and it was nice to attend the workshop and get, have make some personal relationships that I know I can call on um, in the future. It's not just names and yeah. um, screen <laughs> mug <laughs> shots of people <laughs> on the screen. It's real people behind. Yeah. Yeah. The workshop was really good for me. 
Awesome. Yeah, and welcome Bethany as well. It's so nice to see you. Thanks for dropping by. And so, yeah, no, it's totally informed. We haven't got anyone. Ooh, I don't think there's anyone online at the moment. So we're just going to record some just general reflections about um, the conference and about, we we're just talking about the BGM workshop prior to the conference. And yeah, so if you want to share anything, then please feel free to anyone to jump in. So yeah, I guess as a current student, it's helpful. Like it adds like, a feeling of validity to your work where mm. it's like okay there is a place that this work fits in um and people who know this work can give you know what feels like more you know relevant feedback mm. points about connection you that helps your work as well being able to see where your work fits in mm -hmm. and the different ways how other people have handled problems that might even though our context might be different it might still support how you start thinking about how to analyze your data or how to um, think about how to frame what is happening in your world of OER. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. For me because I look after the, the work stream um, EDI, the equity, diversity, and inclusion of an education coaching. I was so surprised how people really got invested in the work mm -hmm. we did on day two. Um, we actually have a plan now on how to move forward. And even outputs and outcomes that may come out of this work stream. So I'm 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 just very grateful for all the sharing and ideas that people um, gave, provided, and that there is a commitment. People are very invested, so there is a commitment to now get a, give a continuation of this work as a community. So for me, it was the highlight I loved it, and um, and I'm appreciative of. Of everyone that contributed. Mm -hmm. For me, it was um, sitting and listening to all of the research uh, presentations was was really valuable, because um, and and this is something that I think that that everyone who was at the workshop should know as well is that often you go to educational conferences or those sorts of things and there are all there's always going to be a couple of papers where you sort of listen to what they're doing you think what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Every single presentation at GoGM, I felt, was research that has to be done. Mm -hmm. It was all really exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. It was um, really digging into what the promise of open education is. It was engaging with different communities, um, different methodologies, different tools. And absolutely, I really want to see um, the outcomes from every single research presentation that I saw, because I think that the people who are coming through now, um, they are looking very critically at what is going on in the movement and also who is being included and who's not being included. Mm -hmm. And they're starting to, yeah. to really position their research mm -hmm. so that it's starting to address some of those uh, challenges. Uh, so yeah, that that was the main thing I walked away with. But mm -hmm. even the World Cafe, um, the the format for doing that, for doing our planning, um, I thought that was a really good way of approaching it. And where I talked beforehand about process, World Cafe is something where I bookmarked all the links that Rob gave us, <laughs> and I really want to run um, that as a framing mechanism yeah. for things that I do back home. And the PhD metaphors were oh, really yes. fun. <laughs> it was really was fun to cool. be part of. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm mindful of time, so I'm just going to like, if there's anything else that people wanted to share or anything that people are taking away, and then also I'll pass, I think, Karina as well. I think maybe... Um, so yeah, I don't know if anyone wanted to share anything else. Before. I think I'll just share that um how grateful I I mm. we've we've all talked about it right? how grateful we are to have this opportunity mm. because I think we all feel a little lonely sometimes in our various positions and our various passions and it's nice to be with like Gino said a family with mm. similar passions. Mm.
Mm. And just the value of being funded. Our university yeah. doesn't always have the funds to send us all over the place. And it's an absolute privilege to have been part of it face to face. Mm. And mm. yeah, we're just very grateful for the time. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Don't take it for granted. No, everything on board. I actually wanted to share something with the, with the network and um, because today is a special day for <laughs> us, some of us more than others, but I think it's for the whole network really. So it's not, Adrian wouldn't think that it's today. He would think that he was conferred yesterday. I don't know the time it's zone. Already, it's already <laughs> it's tomorrow. Me it's messing with my so We can now call Adrian officially Dr. Stag. Yeah. So, congratulations <laughs> on getting your PhD. This is a card signed oh. by everyone I saw that I knew, knew you. Wow. So I was writing like a headless chicken <laughs> during the breaks. <laughs> In breakfast at the yes. hotel, wow. trying to get all the signatures I could find. So here that has uh, you met you missed your graduation, your official graduation, mm -hmm. but we still wanted to leave you a message and congratulate you for this special day. Thank so, you. So well done. That's lovely. Thank you. So, Very nice. Thank you. I think I think the main thing, um, the, the other person as well that, that I think we should recognise is that recently um, uh, uh, Marion Bass, mm -hmm. yes, also graduated. So we have uh, Dr. Marion Bass with us here um, as another recent graduate. Um, and what comes out of GoGN for me is that when you listen to everyone's introduction at the beginning of the workshops, how many people were there who said, well, I'm here because such and such introduced me to the network. And then when we got around to that person, that person said, well, these two people introduced me to the network. Mm -hmm. And then it was just this kind of everybody was there because they'd known somebody who said, oh, you've got to join. This is really worth your while. And that kind of word of mouth, reputation. I mean, I'm here because Karina was a member of GoGN. And when I started my, my PhD work, Karina said, oh, you should really think about uh, becoming a member of GoGN. So I'm here. And then I know that I've got some Australian colleagues who said, well, I'm only here because, you know, Adrian invited me along and so I think we're we're kind of paying it forward as it were mm -hmm. and um and so we we get this wonderful network of people who um you know we, we've all kind of invested in each other's work and we've all kind of tried to bring everybody into the fold um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how many members we have in the next five years yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah congratulations again yes really congratulations. Wonderful. and looking forward to celebrating lots of other people so yeah. 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 Having, uh, drink to celebrate <laughs> yes. yes wonderful cool so um yeah I'm mindful that we're probably moving towards another session and that people have given up their time and the sessions going on that people want to get to so um yeah thanks for joining and dropping by and yeah for yeah. sharing and um yeah and thanks, thanks to yeah thanks. no worries at all thank you <laughs> so see you in the video too so yeah, sure. oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah thanks so much as well if you're watching this at a later date and uh yeah thanks take care bye bye, bye. oops